Today we are going to be talking about commas in a series. A series is when you have three or more things listed in a sentence. We will be talking about nouns today and adjectives and verbs later in the week. So for today's series, we are looking for three or more nouns and we will separate them with commas. So our first sentence says we need butter, sugar, and eggs to bake a cake. So my three nouns in a row are butter, sugar, and eggs. Now our commas are gonna go after the first one and after the second one. And then if there's and, and then the last one, we're not gonna add another, another comma. So it will say we need butter, comma, sugar, comma, and eggs. If we were to, oops, if we were to not put a comma here, this would mean butter sugar, like buttery sugar. And that's not what we are talking about and that could really confuse our reader. So we need to make sure that we put a comma so that they know this is like the stick of butter, sugar, and eggs, that they are all three separate things. So let's look at our next sentence. It says, do you like candy, ice cream, or cake? So our three items are candy, ice cream or cake. Again, we need to put commas in between because this could be confusing for the reader that it's candy ice cream, like maybe like a Sour Patch Kids ice cream, but we're talking about three separate things. So we need to put a comma here. Ice cream is together, so we wouldn't separate that with a comma or cake. So even though these are two separate words, they go together, so we wouldn't separate them. All right, the third one, we went to the pool, the beach, and the lake this summer. So three places. So we have pool, beach, and the lake. So again, I'm gonna put a comma in between pool, the beach, and the lake. So I have my three commas, or three nouns separated by two commas. All right, the fourth one says, do you like dogs, cats, or hamsters more? So I have dogs, cats, and hamsters. So again, I'm gonna separate with a comma because it's not a cat, that's a dog. So we have dogs, comma, cats, comma, hamsters. And the last one, we need markers, colored pencils, and crayons for art class. So again, my three nouns, markers, colored pencils, and crayons. Again, I'm gonna separate with a comma. Colored pencils is together. That's one thing, so I'm gonna separate after pencils and crayons. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase the dot so that you're able to see how the sentences should look with the commas. So your sentences will look just like this. Remember that it is three or more nouns in a series and that you separate the first two or first three, depending on how many there are, with commas. But once you get to the last one, the and or or, then you do not add a comma.